This is Harry Potter, one of the most iconic movie series in the world. So I'm gonna build a bunch of different things from Harry Potter and Hardcore Minecraft. But before we start all of this, we need to build the mountain that Hogwarts is on. Now first, let's build the outline. This helped me realize what the sure size of this project is gonna be. Bro, this is gonna take forever, but it should all be worth it. Because at the end, I'm gonna have some of your favorite YouTubers judge the build. Now to build this big mountain, we're gonna need a ton of stone and a ton of dirt. Now I've come up with three different ways to get all of the dirt we need. This guy looks like Aragog if Aragog was like tiny as a rat. Oh shoot, it wasn't me. Now the first method on our list is mining. So let's get to mining some dirt. And now after an hour and a half of mining, I have eight shulker boxes full of dirt. Now let's see how far this will get me. Yeah, this isn't gonna cut it. Let's move on to method two, which is the Dirt Duper 5000. I just added the 5000 at the end. Now, there should be loads of dirt coming into the chest. Wait, why isn't it working? Oh, it must have been patched in 1.19. So now, finally, for method three, I'm gonna be building a very complicated dirt farm. And I'm not lying. Like, whoever made this thing was out of their mind. Like, how do you even find out that you need ravagers for this farm? Now, to build this, we're gonna need 1,000 stone, 700 observers, 600 pistons, and and now to get all the honey we need, let's build a bee farm. And now the honey farm is complete. And I also went ahead to make a slime farm so I can make the slime blocks. Now I also need 21 target blocks for this. So I might as well try and get the advancement that goes with the target block. Now I could try and cheat this, but cheating, cheating's for losers. I swear that's a bullseye. Well, good thing I'm a loser. No way I still missed it while cheating. First try. And now we have all of the blocks to start building the dirt farm. Now this is just the easy part of the build. The hard part is when I have to get ravagers. Oh wait, I have to do that now. I have to get a ravager in each of these holes. So four in total. Now to get the ravagers all the way up there, I'm gonna build a dirt pathway. So... And now we have to start a raid to get ravagers. But to start a raid, I need bad omen. There we go. Now let's start the raid and kill all the mobs until we get our first ravager. Yo, there it is. And now you should just follow me up your Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. Bro, that was too close. Now let's get all of the Ravagers. That's one. That's two. That's three. And finally, the fourth one. Now we can go ahead and finish the dirt farm. And now the dirt farm is done. That took so long. Now I can just AFK here until I have all of the dirt I need. And now we also have all of the stone we need as well. If you're wondering how I got all of this, yeah, I just AFK'd for a long time. And for those who want proof, here you go. Now we can get to building the mountain. Now, as you can see, this took me a long time to complete. Placing 100,000 stone and 70,000 dirt is not an easy task. Especially when you're doing it for over 90 Minecraft days. And now the entire mountain is done. Bro, this thing is huge. Even my game's going insane. Like, why is it going so fast? Rest in peace to this guy's llama, everyone. Wait, where's the other lead going? Oh, there's a llama under here. Wait, what if I... Yeah, yeah, it died. And now I want all of this dirt to be grass. So here's a satisfying clip of all the dirt turning into grass. Also, I just scheduled the days for the YouTubers to look at my build one month from now. Yes, I booked this one one month before it even happens. You spin me right around, baby, right around. And now since the castle is gonna be so big, I'm gonna build some other things from Harry Potter first. So now let's do Hagrid's hut. Now to build Hagrid's hut, we're gonna need quite a bit of dark oak. So let's grab this. Now we're gonna have to cut trees for a while. Yep, this is what my life has come to. Well, now we can craft up some slabs some dark oak stairs, and also some dark oak fences. Now we also need some mossy stone bricks. So let's grab some stone, turn it into stone bricks, and now we can get some moss from the dirt farm and turn all of these bricks into mossy stone bricks. And now that's the mossy stone bricks done. And now here are all of the other materials we will need. Well, except for seven wither skeleton skulls. If I get any skulls from these guys, you have to subscribe. Hey, now you have to subscribe. I definitely did not cut to me killing a different wither skeleton. I wouldn't do that. Well, now I only we need six more wither skeleton skulls that's number two number three hey that's my fourth one now here's number five and number six wait what if i got two in a row yo what i actually did how about three there's no way i'm gonna be this lucky yo what how does that even happen what are the odds of that happening bro people are gonna say i cheated well now we can get to building hagrid's hut now hagrid's hut is really well known not as well known as the castle but most people you ask will know what it is since harry ron and hermione spend most of their time there if they're not in the castle and now that's hagrid's hut complete and now building this gave me a question oh. wait i wonder which house i'm in for harry potter so now let's quickly fill out this quiz oh and it says i'm in hufflepuff well you know what that means 
Now I'm in the Hufflepuff robes. Wait, but my totem still looks like me. And there we go. Wait, why is it burning down? Put it up, put it up, put it up. Oh, it's because of this. Well, let's put that out. Now in the fourth movie, Hagrid gets a hippogriff. So we're gonna build exactly that. Now to build Buckbeak, we're gonna need some spruce planks, dark oak planks, and some yellow terracotta. Now let's get to building Buckbeak. And now here's my build of Buckbeak. And now with a side-by-side -side comparison, yeah, they look pretty much alike. And now I also went ahead to make this pumpkin patch. But the only thing we're missing is the scarecrow. Here we go. Now before I get to building the castle, I want to build a few other things from Harry Potter. So now I'm going to build the burrow, which is another name for the Weasley's house. Now one of the main things I need to build this is the worst wood type in the world. Well, let's just get to collecting it. Now here's all the birch wood we'll need. Now we also need some glass, some granite. And now for bricks, we're gonna need a lot of clay. Oh, I need clay balls. Here we go. Now we can gather the rest of the clay balls. And now we can finish getting all the other materials. So now we can get to building the burrow. Now the burrow doesn't really show up in Harry Potter too often, but it is Ron's house and also it looks pretty cool. So that's why I built it. And now we are done the Weasley's house. Both of these houses took me four days to complete. Now the schematic I used only had these two sides of the mountain. So I'm gonna have to recreate these other two sides by myself. I have come up with a five step plan to make this mountain. Step one is to place all the stone. This is easy enough. For step two, I have to make it so it's both grass and stone. And I can just do that quickly by using this command. Step three, I just have to smooth it all out. All I have to do for this is just click a bunch of times and it will be smooth. For step four, I have to hollow it all out because this is way too much stone to place in survival. And finally, for step five, I have to actually place all of this in my world. Now, this shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I was wrong. And now to make the island an actual island, I'm going to connect it to the ocean floor using sand. This won't take long at all. Why can't I just be right when I say that? Well, now the whole island is connected to the ocean floor. I had to place over 34,000 sand. This also took six days off our timer. Now, while I was placing sand, one of these horsemen spawned. So I ended up luring it all the way up into Hagrid's hut. Please just come over here. Okay, got you. And now since Hagrid has so many beasts, this is gonna be one of them. But I have to make a place for it to stay because I don't want it to be in Hagrid's house. I hate Phantom so much, man. Now we just have to lure him in. Just like that. This guy reminds me of the half horse, half men in the dark forest. Wait, the dark forest. I still need to build that. Now in Harry Potter, the dark forest is behind Hagrid's hut. So I'm going to build it right here. And now here is the dark forest complete. Now I want to build a dragon. And in the fourth movie, when Harry gets chased by a dragon, this is the tower where Harry almost got caught. So in order to build the dragon, I also have to build the tower. Now one of the main things I need for Hogwarts is dark oak. Wait, I wonder if this thing works with dark oak. No, no it does not. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to mine dark oak trees like this. And now this should be all of the wood we need. Now two other things we need is mossy stone bricks and normal stone bricks. Yo, zombie drop this. Wait, would a creeper kill me with this? Oh, yep, yep, it would. And now I still need quite a few other items to build this, but it will get boring if I go over all of them. So I'll have them just like that. If this is how much I need for one tower, I wonder how much I'm gonna need for the entire castle. Well, let's get to building this thing. This is the main tower of Hogwarts, which also has the moving staircase in it, as well as Albus Dumbledore's office. And it's also the second biggest tower in Hogwarts. But now here's the entire castle done. Now this is also the tower with the moving staircase in it, as well as Dumbledore's office. Oh, you're not supposed to be here. So now we can work on building a dragon on the tower. Now when you think of a dragon in Harry Potter, you either think of the white one in Gringotts or the one that Harry had to fight against. And in Minecraft, I think the one that Harry fights against looks better. So we're gonna build this one. Now to build this, I don't need too many things. I just need some black stone, some deep slate, a few different colors of glass, and a diamond block? Who knew a dragon would be this expensive? I tried to make it look like the dragon was perching on the window, but as you can see, that didn't really work out. Bro, it looks like it's about to just fall over. And now since we built the Weasley's house, it only makes sense to also build the flying car. So now here it is. Now all of this took me four days to complete. And now I only have one more build until I start building Hogwarts. So yes, we're gonna be building a Quidditch pitch. So we're gonna need things like stone, as well as 5,000 green terracotta and 5,000 lime terracotta. Now to make green dye, we need a cactus. So we're gonna need loads of cactuses. This is taking way too long. So I just quickly made a cactus farm. Also, after an hour of AFKing, this will definitely be enough to craft all of the terracotta. Wait, but I still need to mine all of the terracotta. 
Well, there it all is. Now let's recolor all of this terracotta. Quickly collect all of the nether brick fences we'll need. Yes, I did that for one single clip. And it wasn't even enough. Well, now let's gather the rest of the materials and start building the Quidditch pitch. Harry was the youngest ever seeker to play for a house team, which also meant that he was really good. And this is where he would play all of his games. Now the build was going smoothly until this guy spawned, who said you were welcome here. Try and hit me. Uh, that's what I thought. Bro. <clears throat> he deserved it. Oh, and also all the grass or field or whatever you want to call it, that's done. But now I think this would look pretty cool as a jump cut. So now we are done the entire Quidditch pitch. Oh, wait, I forgot to do the rings. And now it is completely done. Oh, 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 hey. This took me six days to complete. And now we've built the Weasley's house, Hagrid's house, the dark forest, something that's supposed to be like Buckbeak. I know it's bad. A tower of the castle with the dragon and also the Quidditch pitch. So I think it's about time to start working on the castle. I actually hit that. <laughs> now to build the castle, we need over 80,000 mossy stone bricks. And that means we're gonna need 80,000 stone bricks as well as 80,000 moss. Every episode I get happier and happier that I made this. This shouldn't take me too long. Remind me to never do this again. Now to get all the moss, I'll just be AFKing at this farm. Well, now we have all of the mossy stone bricks and the stone bricks. And now we also need a lot of dark oak. So instead of collecting it all, let's just speedrun materials to make a farm. We'll need 500 white concrete. 180 obsidian, 130 glass, 64 hoppers, 64 chests, and a bunch of other redstone supplies. Wait, I also need a piece of ancient debris to build this. And now let's just quickly build this farm. Now this only took me around 30 minutes to make, and it's gonna take a lot more to get all the wood. Now I'll just be back when I have all of the wood I need. Yep. That took a long time. And now I can finally start building Hogwarts. Bro, the judges better like this. Now, Hogwarts is by far the most popular building in Harry Potter, since that's where Harry and his friends spend most of their time. And it's also the final building until we show all of our judges. And I literally just finished in time. And now this is Harry Potter and Hardcore Minecraft. Yo, whoa, the castle, what? That's nuts. Wait, you build this? Oh my, no way. This is fancy. Oh, this is actually insane. Dude, how long did this take to make, bro? Oh my God, bro, what the? F it just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. This is insane. I didn't expect it to be this big. You know, from the very limited amount I've seen from Harry Potter, I've I've I know with the, all of the stairs. That's really cool. It's the the view from out here is insane. What is it like a cat? It looks like a cat. Really, that is the ugliest thing I ever saw. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what it looks like. To me. Oh no, this is like a like build battle monstrosity. Yeah. Is this supposed to be a, what's the, what's the word, hippogriff? <laughs> it looks a little bit cursed. Oh. <laughs> That's a one-to-one -one resemblance right there. Wow. Exactly. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Subscribe.